on a family trip to Florida, we happened to cross a shop that made their own fruit pops. And I had an avocado pop. Um, my husband says I didn't get through with the popsicle before I decided I was having my own shop in Little Rock. We source locally whatever we can. So all of our strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, they just have such a better flavor. The ratio between how much syrup and fruit is super important. Part of what makes these pops so special is the texture of most of them. They're not hard or icy. It's part of one, the machine that we use, and two, the tweaking with a recipe to make sure that that ratio is on point. The mission, to some extent, is just to create a product that you probably haven't had before um, and try to do a, to combine some flavors that maybe in your mind you're saying, hey, that's not something I would do every day. We knew from the get-go we'd have to offer samples of flavors. There's no way you're gonna, you know, you can't just walk up and go, canary melon and jalapeno pepper, this is gonna be what I want right now. It's an interesting thing to sample, try, um, but the more we do a little funkier flavors, I mean, especially since we moved to this location, people are really more, you know, they're excited to try some stuff. We have an avocado that is great. If you're into avocado, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. And so, you know, people come in and when we haven't had that one in a few weeks, they're already back wanting avocado. It's gotten to be pretty common for someone to pay and immediately whip out the phone and take a picture. <laughs>